and welcome back everybody I'm Prakash Pradhan your trainer for this entire series in today's topic we are going to discuss one of the important features that was launched by this Microsoft around in 2004 of course that's a bit locker as you can see on the screen so this bit locker is actually one of the important features that helps you to encrypt your drive so that uh, unauthorized person may not be able to access your data or anyone who does not have a key to have access over your system will not be allowed to be uh, access your drive or let, let's say in a sort this bit locker is nothing just a data security process actually it's a one mechanism that helps your system to be secure against any unauthorized or illegal access of your data even if when your device is lost so when we talk about the history of this actually of bit locker it was actually introduced around in 2004 okay and that was actually code named as a uh, your kernel store now this is basically made actually in order to secure your data that resides in your disk actually okay now in your any volume wherever your data is stored securely in a form of your encrypted form so when someone takes that device let's say or anyone get try to get access over it will not be able to have access over that data now bitlocker or we often call it as a bitlocker to go also over here this is nothing just a one encryption method that has been introduced by this microsoft uh, that will allow you to access your data okay access your system only in a case if you have an uh, access code for that in a form of your key now uh, if sometimes it happens that your system might get stolen or something uh, might go might go wrong horribly so in that case if anyone tries to get access over your system okay using illegal bypass means in that case they may not be able to access it because it's going to ask you for the authentication that means that's a your secure key and that is in your encrypted form over here as you can see so uh, we, we have an option over here that you can install and use this bit locker easy going or we do have another option that you can use this bit locker along with your TPM of course TPM I do believe everybody knows that that's a trusted platform module that is integrated with the chip in your motherboard but right now in this session okay we are going to use how to, or we are going to see I'm going to show you in detail how to install a bit locker how to encrypt your drive okay how to secure your key how to store your key and the most important thing is that I'm going to show you that you'll uh, from where you can actually set a by default policy in your domain controller actually to not to use your TPM okay because if the TPM uh, disable option is not tick over here that means allow bit logger to use without tpm if that option is not selected you will not be able to encrypt your drive even though you have installed your bit logger in your system so i repeat again bit logger is one of the importance uh, your you know system that is being introduced by this microsoft it is not a role it's a feature so inside this feature we'll have to enable it and it will allow you to encrypt your whole drive having your operating system installed on it so for this session i'm going to take you to my domain controller as you can see this is a domain controller and where uh, bitlocker role uh, feature is not installed so in order to make it sure that the bitlocker is not installed i'd like to take you to the panel where through which you can see that the bit logger is installed or not and don't forget even after installing the bit logger you will not be able to see in the tools okay you will not be able to list it see over from here now if you are, if i go to the control panel just to make sure that in order to secure my os uh, you know stored drive or the partition drive where the operating system in, is installed and i'd like to secure that drive in order to see that you'll have to go to control panel system and security and it will be listed over here okay bit locker so far it's not installed over here so that's why you will not be able to see it now first you'll have to add the feature over here okay now let's add the feature of course it is not a remote desktop so that's why we are going to select this role base and after that as i said it is not a role it's a feature we'll skip this role and we'll go to the feature you'll find it over here bit locker drive encryption now, apart from clicking over here, BitLocker Drive in Encryption, I'd like to take you to this tool over here as well. Remote Server Administration Toolkit, you'll find the BitLocker is over here as well. When I enable over there, BitLocker Drive Encryption, this will get selected automatically. Okay, now go to the Drive Encryption. Okay, add it. Next. And install. So that will get installed automatically. Now, 
so after it's been installed we'll see how to configure it so that you can secure your drive against any illegal access okay so let it install and we'll meet after the your bitlocker your feature installation has been done Okay, as you can see here now, your BitLocker feature has been installed successfully and it's asking you to restart. And this is mandatory. You will have to restart in order to process further for securing your drive using a BitLocker feature from your Windows Server 2019. So I'm going to restart and we'll meet after the restart is done. Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. Now as you can see the server has been restarted after installing the feature of your BitLogger. So as I told you last time if you remember even after installing the your feature of this BitLogger, if you go to tools it will not be listed over here because it has to get access via some other ways. Okay, so let it uh, load this dashboard fully so that I can make a list. Okay, over here see. Can you see over here BitLocker? There is no BitLocker. Okay. Now, in order to use that, let's go to our control panel. Okay. In order to enable that your BitLocker feature that we installed just now, you go to the system and security as I showed you last time. Now, you notice over here BitLocker drive encryption. Now, there is one more thing that you need to understand. As I told, I guess I told last time that the BitLocker, you know, drive encryption when you use, you must allow in your system by your domain policy or your default group policy to use this without having your TPM as well. Okay, so let's enable this one. Let's now see over here it shows the BitLocker is there but it is turned off right now. It is not turned on. By default the BitLocker is turned off. So if I turn on, so it's going to start, you know, your BitLocker, BitLocker drive encryption. But you might be thinking but it allowed you to encrypt your drive without having the feature of your TPM or disabling the TPM. In order to save the time, I have already allowed in a group policy so that this video goes smoothly. So if you'd like to see from where that TPM has to be, you know, the system has to be allowed to use the BitLocker without a TPM, you go to the default group policy and I'm going to enable it from the default group policy so if you'd like to enable it for some other host or it may be other client okay other computer in that case you'll have to create your own group policy so right now I have used the default domain controllers policy and I'm going to show you from where you are going to select that option so that your BitLocker will work without the TPM as well so go over here that means by default, all everybody knows. Okay, now that we are having two configuration, one is the computer and another one is the user. Now, in order to use this BitLocker to skipping the TPM, of course, you are going to select your computer. This configuration. Then go to the policies, administrative template, Windows component. Inside the Windows component, you will be finding this one BitLocker drive encryption. So, okay, so select this one. You are having three options. Select the operating system drives. And you'll notice over here, see the third one, required additional authentication at startup because we are going to select additional authentication in order to use your BitLocker so that you can secure your system against your any unauthorized access. So double click this one, 
see i have enabled it so this option has to be enabled by default it's not configured by default so you'll have to select enable and see when i go to not configured okay i'm going to, okay it is already selected so i'm not going to pause it now if i go to not configured this will be disabled if i go to enable you see allow bit locker without a compatible tpm option will be selected by default so that requires a password or a startup key on a usb flash drive of course i'm going to show you how to store this password where to store how to recover the password even if you forget so i'm going to do cancel so this has to be enabled since that was done so that's why your driving encryption work was started now it's asking you choose how to unlock your device at startup it is locked that means once you enable your bit locker in your any os partition or any drive whichever you would like to encrypt using this bit logger it is going to ask you how would you like to you know unlock that because encrypt means it's going to be locked so in order to use those devices in order to use any kind of your resources from your it has to be unlocked so there are two ways either you are going to unlock you using your usb flash drive or you are going to enter the password okay option is yours so right now as we are in lab environment i'm going to use select the password and next now it's asking you the password so this password you should not forget of course i'm going to show you how to recover even if we forget this password go to next now it's asking you how do you want to back up your recovery okay, that was in case if you forget your password so this bit logger allows you or it creates okay it creates your recovery key as well so where how do you want to back up that key in a usb fast drive would you would like to print the recovery key or you'd like to save a file so i'm going to select save a file and i'm going to save it in my network drive so i'm going to use see over here i have created one folder in another one computer name is mem member 2 okay that's a, another one the system and where there is a one folder i have pre-created pre-populated so that the file can be saved easily so i'm going to save it okay now next it's asking you choose how much of your drive to encrypt see it has given a wonderful option over here encrypt use disk space only or encrypt entire drive because this will make your system a bit slow so that's why i'm going to use encrypt use space only anyway there's only operating system it shouldn't take much time so after that to choose which encryption mode to use new encryption mode best for fixed drives on this device now next one compatible mode based for drives that can be removed from this device of course we are going to use the fixed one so i'm going to select it and next now are you ready to encrypt this drive obviously we'd like to test it now it will start encrypting this drive okay now since your drive encryption is started okay started if i go over here it is showing restart is required okay restart is required it has to be restarted when the encryption is started it has to be restarted and when you restart it then your drive will get your actually encrypted and then obviously i'm going to show you how to recover all those things also so that means i'm going to restart the system and we'll meet after the system is restarted okay now as you can see the system has been restarted and if you remember last time we have set a one password for the startup for this operating system so that's why it's going to ask you to pass through this authentication now if you remember this password or if you are genuine person you insert a password yeah, as a system administrator to secure your system then the system will boot otherwise it's not going to allow you to boot so this password is before it starts loading your file now what if you forget this password okay now if in case you forget your password at the bottom you'll find option to press the escape key and that will go for the recovery actually but right now we do have a password so we are going to type the password so that it can start your encryption method complete over here so i'm going to pass this password over here now you see it's going to blow As you can see now we have passed that authentication process successfully so that's why it's loading your operating system that means your bit locker encryption process is actually uh, initiated already initiated now i'm also going to show you how to monitor the what portion of your drive is been encrypting or the encrypting is under the process we can see that by your power cell as well so let it boot completely then i'll show you the further process for the same 
system has been restarted so after system is restarted and if you go to your bitlocker screen over here you will notice that your system has already started encrypting your your drive that means the bitlocker is successfully installed and it has already started encrypting your this particular drive now if you would like to see what percentage of your uh, drive has been encrypted the process if you would like to see in that case you will have to go to the power cell and I'll, I'll show you how you can monitor the what amount of your drive has been actually successfully encrypted okay using this bitlocker from the power cell we can see that so i'll take you to the power cell then we'll hit the small command okay just a bitlocker volume one command is there okay now then it will show you what amount of your drive has been uh, successfully encrypted and what percentage is left out that can be easily monitored via this power cell so let's see that Let it load this power cell. You see over here on the left hand side, it, it's still encrypting. Okay, it takes time. Now, uh, if your size of your disk is quite bigger, so definitely it's going to take a longer. Okay, so now since we are in a lab environment over here, the size of the hard disk is also small over here. Though it's, I mean, uh, so many these virtual machines are there, so that's why the system might be slow. But in the real world, if your volume is having the huge amount of size, then trust me guys, it's going to take a lot of time. So let's see, that command is here, get hyphen bit locker, sorry, um, bit locker volume okay it's a bit locker volume iphone mount and the drive that you are actually encrypting at this moment so that has to be mentioned over here now it's going to calculate and list it over here what amount of your volume has been encrypted so far so it might be cal this calculating it's taking a time no worries i'm just going to show you Okay, as you can see here, the encryption key protector percentage is 68. So that means this encryption is in process. So that's why it's showing that. So let it encrypt completely. Okay, then we'll talk further about uh, the meaning of all this. Back of your recovery key, change the password. Okay, remove your password, turn off your bit locker. So let it run completely. So let's run this command again. And we'll see what amount what percentage has been successfully done so still it's a 68 okay let's continue right now only so let's talk further about all these options now if you say that you do not need this encryption okay bit logger and you are interested to remove it first you'll have to turn off this bit logger without turning off your bit logger cannot be removed okay you can also remove the password you can also change the password the basic idea of this your bit locker is actually to secure your drive against any kind of your illegal or unauthorized access of your drive so that your data remains safe all the time so i think it was a fruitful and easy going for you all okay uh, so it's gonna add something to your knowledge for securing your network drive where the operating system is installed or let's say the whole domain controller has been hosted over here so i do believe it was good easy going so if you find it was a fruitful so please do like and subscribe thank you